everyone, it's me Jenny. Uh, it is nearly 2am so this is going to be a really quick video before I crawl into bed. Um, and for today's Crafty Sunday video thing I'm going to be talking a bit about cosplay fabrics and choosing fabrics to make costumes. Uh, this isn't one specifically for my Mecca cosplay, this is just a general conversation about uh, choosing fabrics for cosplays. Um, so to start with, kind of my first couple of thoughts are things uh, to do with just thinking about working with fabric in general, which is just general seamstressy things. Um, if you've done a bit of sewing then you probably know the basics, but sometimes it's a bit difficult to know it. I'm not going to go into too much detail because it's mostly cosplay. But uh, things like weight, um, stretchiness and um, the texture of the fabric, how thick it is, um, is really important to consider uh, when you're making anything. Obviously the fabrics that are easiest to work th with are things like light cotton because there isn't that much give in it so it won't slide around when you're working with it too much, uh, it won't warp too much, uh, it won't stretch out of place um, and it's quite thin so you're not going to have problems with the needle going through. Um, if you're going with thicker things like um, kind of materials like a brocaded fabrics or um, leather that's a lot harder to get needles through so you more like to snap needles it's harder to keep everything lined up because everything's so much thicker um, and then of course it's harder to do detailed work just in layers because everything is so much more coarse it's hard to fit to a body uh, similarly things like silks and um, satins they're very shimmery very shiny they're beautiful to work with but they do tend to slide so you need to make sure that you pin and tack before you use a sewing machine or be prepared to do a lot of sewing by hand or else they do tend to move out of place and then you'll end up with misaligned seams and stuff like that um and just generally thinking about that sort of thing those are the basic um principles of just generally sewing uh when it comes to cosplay specific things i am a huge huge fan of um really taking into account things like texture. Um, when it comes to things like um, TV show costumes or film costumes where you can see the details in the fabric, like Lord of the Rings costumes, you can see the details in the fabric, you can see the amount of brocade and the amount of beading and details they put into the, the lace and like the elf, um, elf outfits from Lord of the Rings or if you look at the Game of Thrones outfits you can copy almost verbatim what's physically on screen and that's a challenge in its own right and that's really really hard but really really satisfying if you do it well. While anime, um, due to the simplicity of the overall um, style, um, you can kind of have a little bit more freedom about what you choose for the fabric. Um, and one of those things that kind of for me separates the really great cosplays from the Good cosplays is when people add realistic texture to the cosplays. For example, if you look at things like Kingdom of Magic, if you look at the what you physically see on screen, it's blue trousers and a blue... Um, let's go with... Um, I'm not going to edit this, so unless you know who I'm talking about, it's not going to really matter. Um, but if you look at the characters, it's very base colours. But if you think about the culture and the time period, obviously they're not going to use synthetic fabrics. They're not going to be using, um, you know, felt, which is incredibly easy to work with, but that is not something that they would be using in this fantastical Middle Eastern, Middle Eastern world. It would be things like silks um, and things like light fabrics. Um, and then taking into account ageing and stuff like that. And that is something that's really important to consider for me adding texture to non-textured items, adding a sense of history or a sense of considering where the character would have got that fabric. Um, and that's something that I really love doing. I might have slightly overdone it with my um, Mame cosplay, um, what I did for her corset. She's got like a brown underbust corset, um, which I really, really like doing. But um, her corset probably would have been, if I consider the fabrics that she would have, uh, it's kind of steampunk um, gunslingery. If that corset was a real life corset, it would probably be brown leather. That's probably the thing that a sort of um, girl who would be wearing that sort of costume would have made the corset out of. However, we want to take into account it's magical. Um, so, you know, the fabric is a bit ambiguous, but probably the classic would have been brown leather for that corset. Um, and I really, what I loved doing was I f couldn't find a brown corset, so I took a white corset which had these really beautiful um, white brocades it was just a plain white thing and then I dyed it brown and what happened was all of the pattern came out and it looked beautiful especially for the fact that um, uh, Magica Magica um, is such a strange art form it's got some very abstract art forms it really for me it looked perfect because 
um, that abstract art style kind of was encompassed in the costume and that it was adding texture where there wasn't texture. However, as I said, I think it might have been a bit of a mistake because it didn't have such clean lines. Um, and it's for me it's really important to consider texture and to consider patterns, um, but not if it takes away from making sure that it's clearly that character design. Um, and as a last point, um, things like thinking about costumes in terms of stage management is really interesting. Um, things like um, if you are going to be seen from the far side of the room, if you're thinking about in terms of theatre, everything's slightly bigger, all the bows are slightly bigger, the lace is slightly bigger, if you, your character is meant to be wearing fish nights, fishnet tights, um, you would have slightly bigger holes so they're more obvious to the back of the room. Thinking about theatrical um, costumes kind of can help dictate cosplay costumes, although cosplay you can put in more details because most of your interactions are going to be on a personal floor base level. Um, but there we go. Um, those are my thoughts. I honestly don't know if I said anything at all useful. Please let me know down in the comments. Uh, it is now 1.57am. I am going to go to bed, but um, I will see you guys all very, very soon. And I have actually, um, I know what fabric I'm going to be buying for my um, mammy costume. So hopefully, fingers crossed, by next Sunday I can show you at least something that I've done towards that costume. Um, anyway, bye guys.